Wayne Pullman, the Cincinnati Police Department flag isn't an official symbol of appreciation, but to receive one, that's a high honor. The citizen design flag is given to officers who put themselves in danger to protect us. Brad Underwood live tonight at police headquarters after two officers are given those flags. Hi, Brad. Well, hi, Megan. These two officers we're talking about, they've uh, known each other for a couple of decades. They're friends outside of work, and now they both have those CPD honor flags. And today we met up with them to not only talk about that honor, but the day they earned them. This is video of Jawari Porter putting a knife to the throat of a security guard inside the Vine Street Kroger on September 7th, 2016. 15 minutes later, officers Tony Brucato and Pat Galligan find Porter near Government Square. I kind of expected him to run. But he didn't. Porter, still armed with a knife, charges at Officer Brucato. Basically uh, pinned me inside the cruiser. I was able to uh, draw my weapon and fire. In an instant, Officer Galligan is there to pull Porter off his partner. Porter is dead at the scene. I'm glad we're together that day. Uh, if we'd been alone, it might have had a different outcome. It's not something the officers expected to happen, but it did, and training kicked in. If you have to think about it, you're probably not going to make it through the encounter. But they did, and would ride together for a few more years before Galligan called it a career after 33 years. Just a week into Galligan's retirement, he and Brucato are given the Cincinnati Police Flags of Honor. It was wonderful. Um, it was an honor to get it. It really showed that uh, the work that we do, um, that we are appreciated for what we do. So it was an honor. The flags are the creation of Mimi Barkey. Barkey and her late husband, William, designed the flags years ago as a way to recognize officers' commitment to serving others while putting themselves in danger. It's an amazing honor um, to think that there's only been 264 people that have gotten this flag from a private citizen. It's just amazing that somebody would take uh, that much time out of their day and expense out of their pocket to honor us. It was just very humbling. Now, Galgan, as we mentioned, recently retired. He already has a new job and he says he's going to hang the flag in his office. Bucato says he's got the perfect spot on his wall inside his home to display this honor flag. Reporting live outside District 1 headquarters, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Dwayne and Megan. Yeah, back to Brad, you. thank you. Well earned, well deserved, no question.